So we've got this week's charity shop finds. Uh, we'll be able to tell you about what we sold on eBay this week. Spoiler, we sold nine items um, and we'll give you a total of how much we made on each item and how far we are to this target of a, a thousand pounds that we're trying to earn by reselling after fees and um, postage, etc. Okay. Uh, we've had our first negative feedback and um, also if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I've got, um, I can show you my geek shelf uh, and obviously you want to do a big shout out to uh, somebody as well. Big shout out to Emma for uh, for sending us some really unique London 2012 mm -hmm. Olympic merch. That's kind of something that I collect. But you'll get to see the geek shelf right at the end of the video and all the things that I kind of collect, if, uh, yeah. if you like. Right, charity shop finds. We picked up a Care Bear. Now, it's a real shame because he's a, what was he called again? Share Bear, I think. Yep, yeah, share bear. Yeah. So what this guy does is that um, he talks and um, like talks back at you and, and says phrases. Two thousand and three. So I thought we picked up a real, a, a real kind of vintage yeah. fella. Um, paid two pound for him. Was he two pound or was he a pound? No, he's only he a pound. pound yeah. Put the batteries in. It works. But unfortunately, after many hours of research, <laughs> um, we can't get him to talk. No. So there must be some kind of I think a necklace or something that goes on and. I wonder where that. That's what the little hoops are at the back. To yeah, possibly there's like there little. Or... Oh, you can see right on the on the back there. There's two yeah. little tags on his Between. neck. So where there should be something hooked round, and then you would press that, and he would talk. But now we tried. We've had his internals out. <laughs> we've pressed his nose, his belly, That's everything. His surgery. Yes, he has. <laughs> Exploratory. <laughs> but we can't get him. So so. But rather than uh, wasting a pound, we've doubled down with a Care Bear bundle. So I already had a Care Bear up there for nine ninety nine with free mm -hmm. postage, which I paid one pound fifty four on the car boot. So I've just added him to. I think I, had, I might have added a pound on. I might have gone to ten ninety nine with free post. Okay. Hopefully, uh, some Care Bear fans will pick up. We'll pick up, uh, pick up that. Yeah. Let's get him out of the way for the minutes. There we go. So the same shop picked up this Builder Bear. Oops. No. That uh, horse has gone for a burden. Picked up this Builder Bear dog. Uh, he's, he's paid two pound for him. Uh, he only seems to go for about six or seven lady M. He doesn't have the, the BAV on, so whether that's an older one, but he's got his little tags on. Yeah. So I put this up for uh, six ninety nine, I think, with three posts, just to kind of get rid of him. I do suspect, having sold any of the Builder Bears we bought over the last few weeks, so I do suspect we're going to do a, a Builder Bear bungle bundle, I think, and just put them okay. all on together to try and to, to get them back. So that, that was that. Now, what we did do, and this might be a little bit naughty, um, is that there was actually some Builder Bear outfits. So that's a, a Hannah, Hannah Montana, and it's it, it's gashed, this leg. It's not in very nice... Worn, isn't it? Yeah, it's not in very nice white, condition. It's a, it's a little grubby. Yes. I've been through the wash, but... It hasn't come up amazingly well, but it's better than it was. Got like stains on and everything. Um, so there was that, the Hannah Montana, and then also this little like frog, <laughs> frog uh, outfit with Canada, which we think went together. So we were a little bit naughty, if I remember correctly. Did, did one of the bears have them on or did none of the bears have the outfits on? I don't know. I wasn't involved in I can't it. remember. This was Ellie got involved with this. So I think one of them might have had an outfit on and then she found another random outfit. So I said, okay, we'll put the random outfit on the Care Bear. And then we'll get it for the Care Bear price. So that might be a little bit naughty, but anyhow. So I've got these, uh, got these on. I think they're five, five ninety nine with free post. They're four ninety nine with free post. I think just to try and you know see if we can mm -hmm. get our money back with the outfits because it it has worked quite well with the. Um, have we done uh, about it? No, no. Yeah. We've sold an outfit coming up in the sales, so I'll, uh, I'll tell you about that shortly. Uh, that's that. That was in that charity shop. That was only one charity mm -hmm. shop. Uh, this one. Same, same day, but a different charity shop. But what's he called again? Is it Paul? Paul, something like that. He's from anyway. Moana anyway. Mm -hmm. He's a uh, he's a posh pals, so it's a bit like a, a, um, a zoom zoom kind zoom, of zoom. idea. Yeah. He's not new with tags. He was only 59 pence, I yeah. think. So I thought, I can't resist him. He is cute as... I don't, I don't, not a big fan of Moana, but if he doesn't go well, I think I would keep him. He's, okay. only, he's only little. Yeah. I think I've... For five ninety nine up on there. If you want to see anything that we've sold or anything that is up for sale, the link is uh, is in the description below for our uh, eBay shop, as well as our Facebook page and um, Instagram and our email and all that kind of good stuff yeah. as well. If you want to contact us, you can do that by looking in the description. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, so he's up. We got him for fifty nine p, uh, and then also on the on the same day we got this Barbie, yeah. and uh, I can't remember her name. Do you remember her name? 
it was Malibu. Malibu, yes, it could. there is a Malibu Barbie, isn't there? But anyhow, it was. It's a Brooklyn Nights or a Brooklyn thing. She should have a guitar, a microphone, a headset, and a stand, but she hasn't. Got she hasn't got anything, but she has got this. Goes on longer than I thought. Yeah. Just enjoy the flashing chest. Nice. So she does do that. Uh, it's we paid one pound and six p for her. Ooh, thank you. Keep it. Keep her modesty. Yeah. Paid one pound and six p. So I thought, take a punt. It's not really worth anything. I think I got it for three ninety nine. I think something like that, or two ninety nine plus post. I'm not sure, but. Yeah, that's probably a that was probably a mistake. But I thought it's Barbie. It's definitely Barbie. It's got Mattel and everything written on there. She does. She does light up. We established that. Different phrases. Mm. Anyhow, yes. so one pound six pence. I thought I'll give it. Oh, she shut up now. No. Oh no, she's still going. She's still going in the background. So we did that, and then finally on the same day in the same charity shop, we did get shut up. She's done. We got a. She's done. <laughs> she we have the last word there. We got a bop it. So this is um, something that we see other YouTube resellers um, buy. Bop it. You can't seem to go wrong. This was a pound. Uh, it's up for nine ninety nine with free post because it's not a massive, not a massive seller or not a particularly um, thingy one, popular one. But it does work. I've had a go. Highest score was thirty, so I'm quite pleased with that. Very good. Anyhow, so that's it. Uh, that's up there, and then Matthew and I we went to that was that that was the that was the reselling squad, wasn't mm -hmm. it? They got all yeah. they got all that together. Matthew and I we went uh, on our, ourselves for a couple of items around Middlesbrough, and uh, I was able to pick up this. So this is a, a witch's brew. Uh, looks like a cauldron. It's quite cool. You might not be able to see, but it's got a bit of like brown or like flames, like flamey cauldron. I just think I know it's absolutely the wrong time of year to be. Uh, to be trying to sell a, a witch or a Halloween related uh, thing, but I just thought this was 99 pence. It's worth a go. It seems so it's hand painted because you can't put it in the microwave or anything like that or in the dishwasher. So I thought I'm gonna just gonna try that. It's a bit unusual. And when I, when I googled it, Google lensed it and eBayed it. There was other witches brew mugs, but not with this shape and not with that design. Right. The, the witches bit was is completely different. The orange writing. Mm -hmm. I had hadn't seen any of them, uh, and this kind of hand painted stuff. So. I think it's pretty cool. Halloween time, I think someone will definitely do that. If anybody knows, if anybody knows a witch, then mm -hmm. uh, then obviously that's a, a link to the eBay shop is is below. Right, this one and this was oh, this comes it's it's tinged with sadness. This this story. So I sold one of these. It's a Friends box set. It's got all ten of the of the Friends series all together. It's a lovely box set. Not that I'm into Friends, but if I was, I would definitely have this. Got a booklet, a 15th anniversary booklet. It is immaculate, and it is immaculate. Um, and I sold one of these. This is the first thing that I sold in, in February before we started filming them for, for this channel. Um, and I paid £10 for this in a charity Not this one, but the same one in a charity shop. I paid £10 thinking this will go like stink. Anyway, I managed to get 19 99 for it. I think I think, I think that was didn't include postage either. And it was an absolute fluke because the go for like... 10 15 quid maybe it's 20 quid absolute outside 20 quid um with with three postage members so some some of them go for as little as five or eight quid um but i did put a lot of effort into the description so i really fluked it in one that i'd already sold anyway so i found this and i got this for two quid and it is immaculate or it was so i got it in the so i was in the in the, in the charity shop there um, it's one where they have loads and loads of dvds like tons of dvds and box sets and all the box sets are two pounds now i found this rummaging on another desk in another part of the charity shop inside a bag pulled it out so hang on recognize this this is one of my bolos um <laughs> so i went to the counter and did the old uh, there was obviously no price on it and i said oh i was kind of hoping it'd be two pound like the same as the other box sets and she went oh, go on then so she gave it, and i thought oh i was buzzing coming out the shop thinking this is great even if I, even i got 20 quid for it again even i got 15 buzzing for, for two quid and then outside the shop i said to matthew Oh, I need to, uh, I didn't check all the discs for there, you wally, you know. So I went outside, put it on a wall, checked all the discs, and I only broke two of the boxes, didn't I? So two, two of the uh, the containers. So uh, the, the cases, uh, was it eight? No, that one. So it should be, obviously, the DVD should be like that nice and tight. 
and I opened number six and number seven and I snapped one of the lugs off the top one so it doesn't snap together Obviously. so that one and that one and I think you know what it was I think it's because it was so cold and because it was a charity shop but like uh. one of the like some of them look like real shops like proper proper shops don't they uh, like posh but this what this absolutely wasn't it was more like a, a doss house to be honest um and and it was, they were freezing cold because there's no heating in there so i've really i've really messed that up so i've still listed i've done 1999 again with the same description and, and same photographs as i did before because i'd have to say that two of them were, were broken we'll see how we go but i went from hero to zero i was i was buzzing so that was that was that and then i made a bit of a mistake with this i thought i've got on the bolo list they be on the lookout for monster high dolls. I thought fantastic. Mm -hmm. First time we found one. We do have some Brax dolls, and they haven't sold very well. They haven't sold yet. But anyway, she was two quid. I googled it, and I thought, yep, yeah, she's Monster High. I asked Matthew to check. He said, yeah, we've got we've got a Monsters High doll there. No bother. Anyway, long story short, she isn't uh, a Monsters mm -hmm. uh, High doll at all. She's like no. a a jakey version. <laughs> it was called um, oh, I haven't actually wrote it down, but Pixie Pixie Punk. She's called. <laughs> Something, something like that. And a couple of shout outs why I'm here. So in order to identify you, uh, I went onto the Bratz Identification Help Facebook page because I'd become a member there uh, because we bought some other Bratz to try, but we, don't, we, didn't, we didn't know who they were, we couldn't find them. So I went on there and um, a big thank you to, well, there's a few people that identified her, but uh, I think Stephen Morgan went over and above to uh, to, to demonstrate that who, who, this, uh, who this person was. So... A big thank you for that. And Stephen had also helped us with some other Bratz identification. Mm -hmm. And then the, another shout out to the Happy Days Reselling group on uh, Facebook. That's John Luke's Facebook group. Um, and a big thanks to Amanda Roberts and others who again helped us identify who this was. But ultimately, I've wasted the money. I think she's up for three ninety nine. I don't think I'm going to sell her. She's got no clothes. She's got nothing going for her other than she looks a little bit like a monster's hide also. So yeah, that what that day really wasn't really, really wasn't the best, and I'll be relying on the on the witch's mug I think to try and redeem myself on that one. Right, another day, or the final the final charity shop. This is when you and I went, Lady M, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So do you want to talk people through the what we found in in that charity shop? Okay. Go for it. Go for it. The stage is yours. Was that the? That was oh no. no. Oh sorry. There. False alarm. Sorry, I also picked this up when I was out with uh, Matthew. So it's a Jemima puddle duck pull along toy paid 50p for it it's got matrix potter on the bottom so it looks like it is relatively official um they go for between six and ten pound uh, it stood out to me because on our other channel coin hunting channel looking for rare and valuable coins jemima puddle duck is on a 50p as well as a lot of other matrix potter's characters so it stood out for me and i thought for 50p i'm going to give that a go so hopefully we might get somewhere between six and ten pound for that we'll see but like yeah. it's a wooden old school wooden toy yeah. and you pull it with a string and it's cool yeah sorry love sorry. right that's definitely the end of mine and matthew's finds now uh, yeah and um, so the zoom zooms were my find i was rummaging through the um kind of one of the bins that had all the soft toys in and it was 50 pence for the small ones and a pound for the uh, larger toys so kind of picked out all the zoom zoom some of them have got kind of tags on unfortunately this one has had his little uh, other tag cut off but yeah, some of them, yes, but yeah some of them have got uh, brand new with tags and they do look brand new so there was um i thought in the shop this was maximus from um tangled but it wasn't it is samson from uh, Sleeping Beauty, so it's the, uh, I think, is it Prince, Prince Philip's horse? I think it's, it's Prince Philip, yeah. Um, so we did a bit of research when we got home and this one wasn't very readily available. So that one's gone on up on his own. Then also got the two Marvel, um, what's it called again? Um, Guardians of the Guardians Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. So we've got... Um, Rocket and Starlord, so I've put them two up as a little because they've both again got the tags on. So I've put them up as a um, a little bundle together, um, and then the rest have gone out as a kind of big bundle together. So there was uh, Dale, Marie, uh, Fauna. However, I did think it was Merryweather at the time. Bambi, Woody, Harthy Junior. And she can't. Harthy Junior, I'm impressed. It. Yeah, the Jungle I, I Book, you know to, that name. I had to, uh, to, uh, I had to look it up. We are big Disney fans. Yeah, yeah. Lady, I'm yeah, not, I couldn't, I'm impressed I couldn't, with that. I couldn't remember what he was called. Um, but yeah, it's Harthy Junior. So his dad was Colonel Harthy. 
<laughs> and he was obviously his junior. Nice. So yeah. so we were actually inspired with the Zoom Zoos because we'd sold some of, the Ellie, uh, of Ellie's that uh, she, she was going to uh, get rid of. So we got we had some success, didn't we? So yeah. I kind of spied you on. You think for 50p, you can't fall off. Absolutely. T tell them the story about the counter, about the, the oh, price. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, so I just wanted to check when I got to the counter that they were just 50 pence. Um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't have uh, purchased them. And the guy was like, oh, no, I think there should be a pound each because they've got some more behind the counter, which they haven't sorted out yet. Um, but because I pointed out that the tub that they were in said the small ones were 50 pence, so you had to let them go for 50 pence. So I felt like we got a bit of a bargain, really. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And so they've only been on a few days, so, so not, none of them have sold yet, but hopefully yeah. they will. Fingers uh, crossed. They, uh, they, they, they will sell. Yeah. And in, in the same shop, same charity shop, sh charity shop, I picked up this book set. So it stood out to me because it's uh, the Hunger Games, so it's the, it's the film kind of thing that, that, that made me take notice. These were £1.50 for, for the set, not in great condition, and they were even worse. They had some, uh, I'll have to insert a photo of mm -hmm. the, they had like paint on the front, a little bit, a bit of splodge of paint, a bit of gloss uh, on there. But I thought we were confident we would get, uh, get that off. Uh, the retail price was £25. I had a look in the shop. They seemed to go up between 10 and 15 So I thought, right, that's going to be worth £1.50. Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, so I've done that. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's this week's pickups. There was more than I thought, actually. Yeah. All right. Right, sales-wise. So what have we got? So I'll put some pictures in as we as we go along. So I think I'm doing really well with the, the McDonald's toys. If you've watched previous episodes, you'll have seen that uh, I got a lot of McDonald's toys from... The car boot sale and they were it cost me 11 pence each so this set was um again 11 p each for four of them uh sold for a profit of 10 pound 50 so that's after postage and after after fees uh now this one's an interesting one that the wizard mask so this is the very first thing that i picked up in a charity shop uh, and here's a picture of me wearing it in the said uh, charity shop because uh, i've put it on so matthew could google lens it uh, and that's where we decided that it looked a bit like Dumbledore from from Harry Potter uh, or a scary Santa. So I've had it for months. Uh, it was obviously after Halloween, it was November time, I think, uh, getting on for getting on for December. Um, anyway, and it's it's sold. So I'm I'm including that in me uh, in me in me thousand pound uh, challenge. I made a profit of twelve quid. So we're for nineteen ninety nine with free postage. Uh, yeah, I can't believe it's sold. Cost me four pound. And I, I, I think uh, yeah yeah. Uh, I think it would go. It'll go. It would have gone for more. <laughs> it would go for more when Halloween comes along. So if there's another one, I'd buy one. And but, it absolutely uh, reeks. As oh well. yeah, it stinks inside. Like that horrible rubbery. Ugh. Anyway, so I'm pleased with the twelve quid into the into, into the total. Uh, this one is a Smurf LP. So I picked this up for a pound, running out on our way through to uh, Aberdeen. So we picked this up in Berwick, paid a pound for it, sold it for seven with free postage. So. Just a register two pound fifty profit on that one, but I'm not very good at vinyls. I bought a few vinyls. It's the only one that's sold. I put the rest in the loft because I don't think they'll, they'll ever sell. But anyway, just uh, you, you live and learn, I guess. Uh, Transformers bundles. I bought these. If you've seen previous videos, you'll see that I had a, another Transformers lot on there, and it wasn't selling. So my idea was to add these on to that bundle and then put the bundle price up a little bit, maybe, or just to try and help it. But it bloody sold before I had a chance to add it on. Uh, so I put these up in their own right and made £4. I think I paid £1.50, I think, in total uh, for them. So uh, 9 99 free postage. What a nice quick turnaround as well, just a few days with a £4 profit. Uh, Animal Crossing. So this is the Animal Crossing uniform. So previous Builder Bears been buying, checking the uniforms off and selling them separate. This was the second one we bought. We previously sold um, a Frozen one, mm -hmm. a Frozen outfit. So we got, uh, yeah, we sold this. £7.75 profit on that. So really, really pleased with that. Uh, Moon Baby's gone, so Collie Wobble went a couple oh, yeah. of weeks ago. This is uh, this was his counterpart, uh, Moon Baby. So that went, that was brand new with tags, eleven pound twenty five profit in in that. And I wish I still wish I bought that other other Collie Collie Wobble. Um, and one thing, so this is definitely a bolo. This sold within an hour of putting it up. A, a printer cartridge. Oh, yeah. When uh, when I was in the charity shop buying some Olympic merchandise, which is behind us. So <laughs> lady, I'm, I'm, let let's let's. Uh, I've been dying to break this bad boy out since the, since we started started filming, so I paid ten pound for this, and this is a uh, this is a ski electric, yeah, ski electric velodrome twenty twelve Team GB London Olympics uh, cycling set. So it's like a ski electric set. It's official because it's got the uh, oops, sorry, trying to wipe it out. It's got the official 
the official logo on there that you're going to see that that flashing logo we've set it up it all works it was 10 pound i was thinking oh, i'll get this on i didn't even look and i thought i'll get this for 150 pound i'm sure we're all nearest offer but um no i'll be lucky to double my money on it so i'll just have to keep it with all the all the other olympic merchandise that i've got and remember stay tuned at the end of the video and i'll show you the uh i'll show you my gig shop with, with all the other um london 2012 merchandise so thanks thanks lady m so what was i saying I was, so we're in that in that shop um so i saw that there was a rummage box on on the floor so you'd have a rummage around print a cartridge in there it was only a pound dead easy sale just um punched in the didn't even need google lens because it, it says exactly it was an uh, xp or hp xl 300 dead easy the solds were 25 pound i think was the was the was the the, the, the cheapest it went for went for £25 plus so it was a dead easy 19 99 with free postage sold within an hour profit of £16.40 the box was, the box was battered um, so I didn't dare uh, you know, I didn't want to push me luck and I thought for a pound let's turn it over quickly so that was £16.40 into the kitty um, and this one I need you to let me know in the comments whether I should count these so it was a it was a I think I'd said in the last video I picked this bobble head up this Scooby Doo Daphne bobble head up for, for, for 50p and I was going to add it to a to a oh yes nice one so I was going to add it to a to the bundle that I had because I had a bundle up for 1990 uh, 9.99 that wasn't selling so I thought I'll speculate 50 and I already had these two so I didn't pay anything for these two so I did I added it to it sold within a few days 9.99 with free post so that's a profit of seven pounds after fees and postage so let me know in the comments can i include these we're hiding you lady i can't see you can't see your face daphne so daphne's massive head is uh is that's all right it's not about me it's about the there we go this the sales and the items there we go see lady i'm now i just about to see lady I'm. uh so yeah can, can do you think i can include this in my title of my, uh, or my target of trying to get a thousand pounds i think um, so I, I bought one of them i've included it because because yeah. i bought it and it helped help the bundle so anyhow that's gone in that so running total so we've been doing it since the the second or third or fourth of february beginning of february running to all 271 pound and 64 pence so that's profit just from things we bought and then resold minus the fees minus the post any posted cost and things like that so i'm really really pleased with Excellent. that we're, we're, we're well on target for that yeah. uh, that thousand pound by the by the end of the year right so before we finish and before you get to see the footage of the of the geek shelf let me just tell you about our first negative feedback so i was absolutely devastated i work really hard on this we've been off for a week as well haven't we so mm -hmm. i spent put a lot of lot of time into into listing and, and doing what what we need to do uh what have you it is obviously just just a hobby we both do still work full time but even so uh, i put a lot of effort into it to make sure that the the listings are right that they're accurate um the postage i, I make sure they're posted and dispatched in time i get the communication everything i sell people say you know it's ready there you go i take a picture of the package i say i'm going to post it um i post it straight away honestly so i on five stars all the way on the, where people can rate us 100 percent feedback uh, although you don't get many it's bloody hard to, you know if you're buying on ebay give people feedback um and i got a negative um long story short it got changed back to a positive so what happened was they um contacted the person and the um they, they put a really nice comment like you know super ebay a really fast dispatch or something like that uh but it was, it was negative so i had to contact them say did you mean to do this she, they said no i didn't i'm really sorry uh, I had to find out how to try and get it changed and I found the revise feedback button so I, I can't, it's not on my phone but I had, to, I had to go log into eBay on the on the laptop go into the item in the feedback section and then there's a revise feedback button so you press that say why you want to revise it that goes to the buyer and the buyer then has the choice of of changing it uh, which they very kindly did so it went from a negative to a positive but I was I was really disappointed but uh, anyhow, uh, all, all, and I'm sure uh, all's well that ends well, and I'm sure it'll happen at some point. It's I'll get a negative. Wasn't it? Yeah, I've seen other YouTubers uh, and reselling YouTubers who say, "Listen, you know, there's, there's people out there that just do it regardless, or they get the wrong end of the stick, or this, that, and the other." Uh, so it's bound to happen. But, but yeah, it was. It wasn't. Uh, I felt like it wasn't deserved. But uh, luckily, it wasn't deserved, and we were able to able to turn it around. Right. Okay. That's us done. So I'll show you the geek shell straight after this, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Please leave us a comment. We like reading, reading your comments. All our details are in the description below for eBay and Instagram and Facebook. And if you want to email us or reach out to us.
and feed, please feel free. Right, so thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Making the geek shelves. So I'll pretty much collect anything, stickers, fridge magnets, merchandise from films, TV, Disney. Uh, of course, I love the 2012 Olympic merch. Got some egg cups there, and other mugs, vehicles. That there in the middle, that's a, a Donald Duck car from, from Japan, from Tokyo, Disney. More mugs there. Got the figurines from the Olympic 2012. Might see a bit of Mario stuff as well. Big shout out to Emma Langston for the, the UPS shirt. I will treasure that. Thank you very much. More Olympic merch here. A, a folding sit mat. That's a, that's a big stamp and a little stamp. Official merchandise. Variation on the Olympics. Sydney 20. Sydney 20, yeah. Sydney 2000 there. More 2012 Olympics. Wallet tools. Book, bookmarks. Got Stitch. Cups. There's Bungle. Obviously one I'm named after my nickname for Bungle Collects and the Adventures of Bungle and Lady M. Zippy's just at the back there. You see George peeking round past the Coca-Cola Star Wars merchandise. More 2012 stuff there. Shout out to Master Dan Temple. He does painting with the Masters YouTube channel. It is that. He also did this as well. So if you like watching um, art being painted right in front of you, then do subscribe to uh, Painting with the Master or Master Temple's Treasures. This is other channel on YouTube. That's Jib Walter there with his little hat on. There's some special coins. More Olympic merch and plushies. Star Wars is another thing I collect. There's R2-D2 there. Couldn't resist the Lurpak butter uh, container. Mugs from other coin channels as well as ours. More Marvel. Star Warsy. Got a Sega Mega Drive there. Reliving the youth. These are some of the postcards that we've been sent. So yeah, I'll collect pretty much anything and anything really. Love it.